but the views from here is absolutely amazing like look at that wow is this england is this england apparently <laughs> My name is Ahmed and I'm an entrepreneur and an educator. And on this channel, I specifically talk about personal development and traveling. So I'd encourage you to please subscribe and hit the bell notification for more content like this. Let's get into the video. Long Mind. <laughs> so it's called Long Mind. And uh, where is it situated? Just north. West of Cotswolds. Just northwest of Cotswold. Wow, I love the I love the directions there. Uh, is it in Midlands? Would you call this in Midlands or is it more in Wales? Well, probably not considering we live in the West Midlands and this is further west, so where would that be? Shropshire County? Yeah, it's pretty close to Wales. But wow. yeah, Shropshire, Shropshire. Wow. And it's absolutely stunning. Dude, I swear this feels like Scotland. Like look at that. Look no no but still like look at Look at that. We're going to be going through that, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I generally cannot wait. Long Mind is situated in Shropshire Hills. These plateaus are perfect for weekend escape from the city. The word Long Mind actually means long mountain. And as you can see from this view, so it's a very long walk, around 7 miles in total and 3 miles wide. Walking through this area was a transformative experience for me. The terrain reminded me a lot like the highlands. Update. Um, so, it looks absolutely stunning as you can see. Uh, just a start and I actually haven't really seen much. We've got, we've got a path here. We can either go this way, sorry, that way, or we can go that way. Okay, so I think uh, my friend over here will make a much more informed decision and then we'll take it from there. The walking trail through the valley is actually not that difficult and it's fairly easy to do if you carry the right climbing gear like some good hiking boots. So pack your bags guys for an amazing adventure. Most uneventful hike so far, 20 minutes in and we reached this waterfall. We were hoping to see something completely different but unfortunately we ended up at this this stupid ass place. How was it? What's your feelings? Tell me. I want. I want to know. I mean, Tell the camera. I mean, the, it's it's about the journey, not the destination. Oh right? wow! So, so much perspective. I love it. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's been a good walk. It's been it a, has been a good walk. Really enjoyable. That's minutes. true. That's true. Let's go near this. Crap. Oh, actually, I shouldn't really say all this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, that's the waterfall, or more like a what the hell is that? What would you call that? Like a stream? A dribble fall? A water dribble? So we decided to climb these rocks that are right next to the... I can't even... Oh, I don't, I can't even oh there it is. Yeah, okay. Right there. Okay. So we've decided to do that. So we're going to do it. But the views from here is absolutely amazing. Like, look at that. Wow. Is this England? Is this England? Apparently. So... Just climb all the way down from the bottom. I'm up here with my buddy right over there enjoying himself and uh, I don't know why I just felt like climbing so I just did it and uh, it's absolutely stunning let me show you the views. these are the views that I'm enjoying right now and if you don't come over here even if it's like an hour away from you what the hell are you doing in your life seriously come on be in nature enjoy your life this is what it's meant for after climbing, we decided to head down further to explore more of this amazing place. The terrain became a lot smoother and the weather started getting better and better. I sat down with my buddy and we just enjoyed the weather. So I managed to get to the top of uh, where, wherever I was basically from the water. It, the view isn't obviously as spectacular as you'd presume it would be, but uh, it's really peaceful. It's really nice. The wind is obviously blowing like crazy, but I'm telling you, it's, um, it's something unique, something something special in a lot of ways. And uh, yeah, I think that's what it's all about, right? After going around the hill, we headed back down. The views got better and better as we progressed further. 
This area actually dates back to the Bronze Age and now comes under the National Trust. We saw many horses and bike riders as this area is well known for its bike riding and horse riding. So we're gonna climb up this right now and this idiot is the guy I'm following to do this. So let's hope this is a good adventure. I think we've had our time and we really enjoyed it. It was generally amazing. I would definitely recommend that you guys should come here and, and just enjoy the beauty of this place. I mean, you know, I can't believe this, is, uh, this has been so nice. I kind of regret not taking a drone with me as I know the aerial shots of this place would look absolutely spectacular. This national park is vastly different from Peak District which is in the north of England. This place however is ideal if you are looking for a relaxing walk through the moorlands with breezy atmosphere. Click on the top right corner for my Peak District adventures where I have documented the best sunrise I have seen so far in England. After struggling to get to the top of the rock we decided to abandon the plan of climbing the rock entirely and decided to head back down. We relaxed under this very tree and enjoyed the view from this tree after coming back down. I would definitely recommend for anyone who lives in the Midlands or the Northwest to definitely check this place out. I generally did not think that this place actually existed um, in England and so close to my house like it's an, like an hour an hour and a bit away and uh, I can't even believe like it feels like I'm in Scotland it looks absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah I think it's uh, it's a good lesson for me actually to really think about how lucky I am in a sense that I have all these places right around where I live and I'm always looking outwards I'm always looking at things as to I want to I want to go to another country and and hike or see things in that country but little do you know that things are just around the corner from where you are so this is what I would suggest you guys should do as well especially in the times of pandemic when you know you can't go to another country you can't do the things that you want to do it's vital it's extremely important that you guys make sure that you get that peace from the nature that your country offers to you all right I'll see you around Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.